In this video, I'm going to show you how to subtract a two-digit number from another two-digit number using a blank number line. Now, this process is very similar to how we add two two-digit numbers together. So if you've not seen that video yet, it may be worth watching that video showing you how to add two-digit numbers before watching this one, as the process is very similar. So I'm going to subtract 35 from 60, 64. So I'm going to draw a number line to start with. If you've got a ruler, that's fantastic. If not, that's not the end of the world. Now, unlike with adding, I must always start with the first number. And because I'm subtracting, I'm going to put that at the far end of the line so that we can count backwards. So I'm going to write 64 just here. So I've dealt with 64. And now I need to use my place value knowledge to split up the number 35 into three tens and five ones. I'm going to start with my tens here, so I'm going to have a look at my three tens. I'm going to count backwards. I'm going to take away three lots of tens. So this is going to be take away ten. This is going to be take away one, ten. And this is going to be take away ten. This is where it's important to practice counting backwards in tens because that makes this process easier. So I'm going to count backwards now. I've got 64. So I'm going to be 54 underneath this first jump backwards of ten. 44 underneath the next one, and then 34 under this one. So I've taken away now three tens. Now I just need to take away five ones, which I'm going to do here. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to take away one for each of these. And this is just counting backwards now, not in tens anymore, just backwards in ones. So it's going to be 34, back to 33, 32, 31, 30, and then into my next 10, so 29. So I've counted back three tens, I've counted back five ones, and I've ended up with 29. So the answer is 29. And that is how to subtract a two-digit number from a two-digit number using a number line to help you.